So guys, on October 19th, we received an update for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 that brought the black market system to the game. And when I hopped into the update for the first time, I knew right away that they took this right out of Fortnite. In Fortnite, they have the battle pass where there's like 100 tiers and you have a certain amount of time, usually around 30 days, uh, basically to level up your battle pass and unlock tiers. And that is exactly um, what it is like in Black Ops 4. In Black Ops 4, there are a total of 200 tiers. Each tier unlocks you a certain item that you can either use in multiplayer, blackout, or both. But just like in Fortnite, we only have a certain amount of time to, you know, level up our battle pass, uh, and then, you know, the operation will end. In Fortnite, they call it seasons, but in Black Ops 4, they changed the operation so they wouldn't be, you know, copying Fortnite directly. But anyways, we only have a certain amount of time to complete this operation and then you know this battle pass will go away and basically today i just want to talk about how you know the black market in this game is just terrible and at the end of the video i think you guys will agree with me but if we compare you know the black market in this game to the black market in black apps 3 you know the black apps 3 black market you know wasn't really all that bad and I'm someone who's going to admit to you guys that I was someone who bitched about you know the black market and black apps 3 and how that was terrible but thinking about it now that system wasn't even close to how bad I think this system is we were getting a lot more content in black apps 3 from opening up supply drops in the black market to how much content we're you know getting for unlocking one tier in this game. To unlock a tier in an operation uh, for Black Ops 4, you have to play a total of 55 in-game minutes. So that doesn't mean, you know, sitting at the in-game menu, you have to actually be in a mode playing, you know, in like a team deathmatch domination, you know, you guys get what I mean. You have to actually be playing in a game for it to actually count uh, towards your operation. So thinking about that, 55 in-game minutes for someone who plays multiplayer, you know, mostly, that is going to take a long, long time, longer than you think. So for like someone who likes to play more basic modes like TDM and Kill Confirmed, the max amount of time a TDM game uh, is 10 minutes, but usually they last around 6 to 10 minutes, I would say. Um, so thinking about that, it's going to take you a lot of TDM games to just unlock one tier for, you know, your operation. And just thinking about people who, you know, don't get to play this game very much each day, like not even an hour, people who go to work every day, how the hell are they even going to get halfway through their operation, you know, by the end of the month, you know, when this ends? I just don't get, you know, the thinking of how, you know, they develop this system. It just, it's so bad. And I haven't even gotten into how bad the rewards are for some of these tiers. What's really stupid is some of the, you know, tier rewards are a character outfit. But the thing is, that outfit can only be used for that specific character. So if I unlock, you know, a tier and I get a outfit for, you know, Ajax, um, a character I don't use much, how is that going to feel, you know, rewarding for me? Because I'm not even going to use you know that outfit it just doesn't make any sense how that is fair you know these outfits should be universal you should be able to use them on multiple characters but again that's just the way they develop the system and it's just a big ripoff I feel like and sometimes the tier rewards are a reserve, which is basically a supply drop, but they call them reserves for some whatever reason. Um, but then you roll a random reward and it will give you like a gesture, a player outfit, uh, specifically to, you know, one specialist, uh, stuff like that. But then sometimes you will get duplicates. And the first time you get a duplicate, you get nothing. The second time you get a duplicate again, you still get nothing. But then the third time, you know, you get a duplicate, then it will find Finally give you a duplicate protected item and you know that's good and all but let's just think about how long it takes to just get one tier you can work 55 minutes you're gonna open up a reserve and then say you get a duplicate there's sometimes where you will not get anything for that duplicate but thinking about it back in black ops 3 whenever we got one duplicate you would still get something you know for getting a duplicate but in this game it's not till the third time until they'll finally give you a duplicate you know protected items so you know just compare the two 
I rather have Black Ops 3 over Black Ops 4. It's just, you know, obvious at this point. I gave you guys, you know, all the reasons to why I think this system is just terrible. And say you're someone, you know, who likes to spend COD points. You're going to get more money spending COD points in Black Ops 3. You're going to get way more content you know in that game compared to spending money in this game we got more content for spending money in black ops 3 to how much content we're getting for spending money in black ops 4 so i just want you guys to think about you know all of this how this system is and i just think this is way worse than black ops 3 um i think it's a ripoff and i don't know I want them to change it back to the supply drops. I was someone who bitched about it, but I will say that I feel like we got a lot more content in Black Ops 3 than what we're getting in this game. But with all this negativity, you know, being said about the black market, Treyarch did just announce that they are going to have a double tier um, boost weekend, so it's going to be easier to unlock tiers for your operation. So that is good, but it doesn't take away the fact that, you know, this system is bad in this game. So. You know, if you are someone who spends a lot of money, you know, in Call of Duty, you were getting a lot more content in Black Ops 3 than what you're getting now for spending money. Just keep that in mind. I want to know what you guys think down below in the comments. Do you agree with me? Yes or no? I want to hear your opinions. If you guys did enjoy this video, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. And if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe because I do post daily Call of Duty Black Ops 4 videos here on my channel. But guys, have a good rest of the day. Peace out, everyone. I'm the one, bitch, I am the one. Like he got no reads, get it done. Yeah, I get it done. No blood on the leaves. They can't leave us hanging. No, no, not no more best be Yeah, that shit is banging. Bobby killed it with no time to breathe. I'm the one, bitch, I am the one.